Hi everyone, how are you doing today? It's pretty nice out today. It's like 45 degrees. Um, let me show you what's happening. And uh, I have some tall grass. I have some tall grass. <laughs> And I have some red dahlia and ranunculus that I took some blooms from and I put them in here just to see if they'll grow. This is the head lettuce, the um, uh, Salamo oh, Salanova head lettuce. <coughs> Excuse me, this is the Lysanthias and it should take a couple weeks um, it's been in there about four or five days, and we will uh, see how it's doing. I've got it at it's 71.4. Finally figured out how to set this. <laughs> you know me. <clears throat> I have to uh, play with it and find out how to do things And instead of reading the manual. I, it wasn't near me, so I, I'm like, okay, I'll just set it. This says set. I just held down on it and that's what set it so um, and then when you press on it it blinks and then you can press it up or down on what degree you want it to kind of hang in and uh, right now they're 71.4 degrees which is perfect for sprouting uh, my vermiculite hasn't shown up yet it won't be here till Saturday and that's about three or four days from now three days this week's going on going fast I have uh, some tomatoes look at how nice these have grown these have grown a lot since I fertilized them and this is putting on some nice new growth they're all doing good these are even starting to come up they were pretty stunted there for a while Strawberries are growing, and there's there was the first one that we that started. We'll see how they are. They might not be very good, not like outside, but it's an experiment. But um, one of the real exciting things, ah, sticky, sticky. My verbena is has got buds on it. How about that? Yeah, that's exciting. Ivy's doing okay since I haven't overwatered it. Um, I don't know if it, any of this is going to make it. It looks like it's all drying up and this might, it's still green. We'll see what happens. Um, potatoes. Oh, looky here. Already got a leaf. And this one is, oh yes, they're growing good. And these are growing good. Look how tall that is. We're going to have some potatoes. This not yet. This one was one of the last ones I did. But um, it'll come up too. It's, this is getting green. It's not white anymore. It's green. So they're coming. They're doing good. We all have weeds, and um, I'm sure you do too, um, but there are some, a lot of weeds that are helpful for certain situations and certain problems that we have, and um, some of them, like uh, chickweed, is good for itchy skin. Uh, yarrow is is a pain reliever. Um, Bermuda grass, dandelions, just to name a few. Um, but the chickweed, um, its best known remedy is for itchy skin. And I was uh, for hot skin inflammations of various types. Um, it's a soothing and nutritious and cooling herb with a reputation for clearing stubborn, long-lasting bodily conditions um, like eczema or 
or the such. Um, it's high in vitamin A and C levels, and it can be eaten in salads. Um, it's available almost all year round. Well, right now it's, I don't know if I could find any out there now because it's, we've had some freezes and in the winter it dies off, but in the spring it'll come right back, that's for sure. Um, it's the best known external use for chickweed is to soothe itches, bites, stings, inflammation, burns, swellings, stubborn bru uh, sunburn, bruises, um, and uh, it just uh, makes a good first aid for emergency remedies. Um, you can just pull up a handful of it and uh, use it right away. And if you take a handful of it and uh, kind of, you know, bunch it up. It's like a sopian, I think that's what it's called, sopian. Um, it, it will feel like soap. You might not lather, but it feels like soap. Um, we're gonna try all of this. Um, this is exciting to me because I have been pulling it up, pulling it up, throwing it in the burn pit. Um, you know, just like I do the dandelions and um, the yarrow, I do have yarrow because I do know it's a pain reliever, but I've never used it for that um, before. But uh, we're going to try to make some pastes and stuff, some salves maybe. I don't know about tincture, but I think we'll make some salves and stuff out of these and we'll try them out. I know someone who has, um, it's not eczema, it's uh, the other one that's real bad, uh, psoriasis. I know someone that has psoriasis. I want to try that. I want to try it and see what chickweed will do for that, for my friend. And um, we will see what happens. So dandelion, I know I've heard and read that it's good for cancer. Um, the dandelion root is very helpful, um, <clears throat> but, but anyway, um, in some of my videos, I may go over uh, a few weeds or maybe just one. I'll pick one and I'll uh, explain it to you and then when it grows this spring or summer, we'll try it and see what happens, okay? Um, I think that's kind of exciting too, especially in the winter when there's not much going on. But I did, you know what? I had a an order from Eden's and um, I just figured they were gonna send the seed with my dahlia tubers. But the thing of it is, the other day I was going through some papers and stuff that I had kept and the seeds were stuck to the back of one of the uh, coupon cards they send. They were kind of stuck to the back of it. I'm like, oh, there it is. I was so scared I wasn't going to get it. It's milkweed and uh, the lacy facelia, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought today, you know, it's supposed to be you can put milkweed you can um, put the seeds out in um, the fall or spring. But I thought it's kind of nice out. It's not, it's not uh, freezing or anything. I'm just gonna throw a few seeds out and see if they grow this spring just to have something to do outside. Yes, outside. Let's go get the bag of seeds or the little envelope of seeds. And uh, let's just throw them in there because it says you don't have to do anything to the soil. Milkweed is very easy to grow. You basically just throw the seeds and cover it with a little dirt and water it. And um, and there you go. So let, let's go outside. Come outside with me. My amaryllis there. I cut them off and put them in a vase. 
and I, I'm sorry about my messy table um, but it's still real pretty I put them in a vase if you catch them early enough when they first start blooming a lot of times they'll last about three weeks in a vase with some uh, crystals in it so let's go see I don't have any tools out here I'll get a stick a stick the water the ground is wet and I'm sure I can find some water. This is sunny all the time. I have a few things in here. There is a uh, forsythia, of course, and I just planted those um, tall grasses in here. But you know what? If it grows real easy, I'm just, I'm not gonna use them all. I'm gonna use some of them and I'm just going to, uh, just dig a little bit, like, I don't know, like this. I'm just gonna, do that, put a couple seeds in here, and we'll check back, because I don't know if these tall grasses are gonna stay here anyway. And this is a milkweed butterfly bush. It's a perennial. I'm going to throw a couple, three, four seeds in there. And we can say we planted something today. <laughs> and I'm just going to water that. Um, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it there and then the rest will plant because you can you can transplant them you can plant them over winter but um, they don't really like they hate their roots being messed with so I'm afraid if I do of course I I will probably try one I'll try a little pot of milkweed and uh, and grow it inside and then put it out. But um, for the most part, I'm just gonna leave that over there. I'm gonna get a little, oh, all I need is a little cup of water. Simba wants to come out with us. Come on, Simba. Hi, baby. I might as well go in here and get, my messy house. We did get rid of our fireplace. It's so much nicer in here. With we've just got lots of room now. It feels like it's so nice. Milkweed seed does need to be. Uh, I think they call it stratified, which means it needs to be like in the refrigerator, refrigerator or freezer for so long. So this will get it. That'll be good. That will be good. Simba. <laughs> okay. I was going to do like a, uh, <laughs> like a dead, a dead tour. Because all of, uh, not that they're dead, but they are sleeping. Maybe it's a sleeping tour of all my moms and flowers that just look so sad in the winter. <laughs> the lavender, the moms. And... This is a, this is a, uh, and it's got a seed down here. It'll seed itself. This is a colospus. And my <laughs> cactus is looking pretty sad. Hibiscus, my earglum, 
And uh, this might be some chickweed. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this is growing. I think. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's the astrantia. And the bugleweed and and the lilac bush. She's so pretty. I, I just like to cut her back some though. My husband doesn't want me too much, but I don't think she'd have a problem growing back. But it may have to be next year or after she's done blooming. Um, this is where my penny comes up. Right here, you wouldn't even know it. It does have a little stem. Um, I have some sedum in here. Looks like it's gone. <laughs> Um, and my perkera, and I have a bleeding heart over here, and uh, what was over here? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember what was over here. Something pretty, though. Something pretty. Careful, Simba. And my uh, the um, uh, mini. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. That I put around the trees. This one came out. Put that back in there. <laughs> mini. Um, uh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it in a minute. My strawberries, some of them are looking pretty green. Even if I have one or two that made it. But I think more than a couple will make it. They'll be back. They'll come on strong next year. They got lots of room to grow out. And nothing in here. Nothing but dirt. And then I have the... Uh, Fudge, apricot fudge lilies in here and then I have all the rest of my lilies Asiatic lilies the purple ones the yellow ones the white ones all in here and then my sweet William clear over in the corner so oh my little tango hummingbird bush so this is where all where I'm going to put all the bags, the potato for potatoes and onions, and maybe a tomato or two in here uh, because I am growing a uh, a beef steak from Burpee that uh, that says it's great for containers because it doesn't bush out like the normal beef steak does. But I also have the beef, original beef steak too. Them are so good. My whole family loves those. So, and we have a lot of other, a lot of flowers and a lot of vegetables to grow. Um, you know, the spinach, the lettuce, the radishes, the peppers, bell pepper. Hey guys. <laughs> It just shut off for no reason. I don't even think it's hot. Nope, it's not hot. But, uh, oh, the bell. I have lettuce, spinach, Brussels sprouts. Um, this is all stuff that's going in the garden. Um, bell peppers, tomatoes, um, green beans. Um, I'm I'm, I do have a, uh, a water bath to can tomatoes, but I'm purchasing a, a uh, pressure cooker for green beans and some other things. And I may make some soups and stews to can as well. And uh, so we'll be canning uh, along with me this, this uh, growing season when we harvest and uh, so I'll show you how to can 
and uh, we'll have some stuff put away. For, it'll be nice. I won't have to cook all winter. I'll just tell my, my husband, hey, it's in the pantry. Just open it up and we heat it up. <laughs> oh, he'll like that. Oh, I'll make a veggie with it or I don't know. We'll see what we all get to. Um, I may have to do some carrots and I've got some celery growing right now and I'm going to keep that going because um, celery and carrots is always good. I always like putting them in my stews and onions and I want everything to be from the garden this year. Um, so I don't know about you but I'm excited and I can't wait. I can't wait to start seeing things come up. And uh, I'm going to uh, try that head lettuce downstairs in the basement in the grow room and see if it will grow. We'll see how big it gets. And uh, because if it gets up to where I need to put it in a bigger pot, I'll put it in a bigger pot. So might get a container or something to put it in. Um, because I have six of them. I'm planted six. So uh, we'll just uh, see what happens and have a good time doing it. So, well, you guys, that's about it, I think. Um, it's pretty nice. It's sunny and it's 45. The only thing is the breeze is really chilly, but it's nice out. I. I'm not going to complain too much. It's January 3rd, 4th. It's January 4th today. Um, I haven't been able to post any of my new videos yet because I ran out of space and I've got a hard drive coming. So I can have, uh, I think my husband got me like a five terabyte hard drive so I can put my videos, my old videos on it. And, uh, continue on but it won't even let me finish and edit so um, so some of these videos might be a little late but you will get them I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, I want to make sure what's on time work you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video take care now bye bye